You know, I, I love it to, to be able to, to scratch everywhere. It's really this different feeling of not taking it so serious. A 10-year-old, a 12-year-old sees this, you know, he might want to scratch, you know, he might want to start experimenting with it, you know, that he not have to buy, like, the whole mixer and the turntables. I worked doing some concrete in, and working in factories and all that to, to buy the turntables. And then a year later, I bought the, the Vestax 07. As soon as I did that, it was like a life choice because I invested so much. It was like my first uh, fight with my dad where I stand my round, you know. It was the first time in my life where I said, you can say what, whatever you want, but I'm gonna buy these turntables, you know. I really, I don't want to disrespect, but I'm gonna disrespect and I'm gonna buy these turntables, you know, because I knew, I felt it. from Strasbourg, living in Paris right now, coming from New York last year and going back to New York next year. And come back to Paris, come back to Germany, you know, like I'm a citizen of the world right now. <laughs> to be La N, you know, I wanted to be La N and you have like these two HLM, we call that in France. And yeah, like in front, in front, I don't want to, don't want to snitch on nobody, but yeah, they, they do what they have to do, selling, selling weed, selling drugs, you know, so, so it's pretty close to, to La N. No, it's, it's funny, I didn't decide to, now I'm gonna be a DJ, I'm gonna work in the DJ industry. It came to me, you know, like naturally because I was doing it. And the battling aspect was a little bit the same. I was in Strasbourg, it was 2003, and I called a homie, I said, yo, yo, what's up, what you doing? He said, I'm preparing for a battle. And I said, a word? battle, like a DJ battle in Strasbourg, and I'm from Strasbourg, nobody was telling me what what was the first prize, and everybody said uh, a Technics turntable, so okay, 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 it's, it's like that, you know, so it was too late for me to get in the battle, so I did go with him to support him for the battle, you know, I came downstairs in the club with a little bit like my homie, and uh, all the Strasbourg DJs were sitting there, you know, like a lot of names which I knew. The club owner came downstairs and he said, yo guys, I'm really so sorry, but um, we have to, to reschedule the battle in two weeks. Hey Nelson, you, you want to participate? And that's how it started. And two weeks later, I won my first battle and I did go home with the Technics turntable, you know. And in 2006, I did the third place at the TKO, but the first place, it was the king. I said, okay, I have to come back. DJ Get Back, he was waiting on me, you know, he, he wanted my head, so he didn't get it this time, you know, so I win against Get Back in the finals. And then I said to myself, okay, now done with national battles, now you're gonna go to the DMC. I go to the French Championship in September uh, 2008 and then I won the French Championship. So, wow, now I'm at the World Championships, you know, in 2008. Even my dad, you know, like this time he called me and said, uh, son, I saw there's like 28 countries. Oh, it's a lot, you know, like for the first time he, you know, like he start to believe in, in, in scratching and in all what I'm doing, you know, like now he, he he did get a little bit more supportive. I think it was China in the, in the first round. And then second round against DJ Shifty from USA, world champion from last year. 
That's okay, it's done. I'm gonna go home. You know, after one round against another country, bye bye. You know, that, that was it. So I start against Shifty. I do like my, my routine and I fuck up in my routine. Like when I cross my arms, the on off button, uh, you know, from the turntable, I, I touched it. So it was like, bitches, brr, 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 brr. and then when I, when I made it like to bitches, 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 you know, like <laughs> I was insulting <laughs> Shifty. And then I looked at him and the crowd gets crazy because I could really fuck up at this time. It could be the end, you know, that's really a lesson I took from this moment that you have to push through like, okay, just keep going, just keep going, do what you can do. And then at the end of my first round, he put his jacket out and he had like a t-shirt with my photo he took from MySpace back in time, you know? So now for you young kids, it's very old. <laughs> and he had like a picture on his on his t-shirt. It's like where I looked really dumb, <laughs> you know, from MySpace. Such a good idea. I love I love the, the move. And then it was written Nelson French bitch. Everybody was screaming. Ah! You know, like crazy, crazy. It was a very good moment for me in the DMCs because the tension was so high. And in my mind, I found it really funny, but instantly I said, okay, he cannot win with that t-shirt on, you know? So I have to, to put out a very strong routine to put him out. So I took my final routine and uh, it's a Rage Against the Machine routine. And I, I put it out against him because you cannot win with this t-shirt, you know? It's not possible, you know? And so I won, you know? I, I, I won like very aggressively and you know, everybody was like screaming. It was a really crazy moment. wow, I'm in the finals of the DMC. I couldn't believe it myself, you know, it was like, where where am I right, right now? Is that a dream, you know? <laughs> and uh, yeah, I was so happy to be vice world champion, you know, like back in Strasbourg, it meant a lot. I was in the papers, you know, like the TV from there. I worked with kids in difficult areas in Strasbourg, you know. When I came back, like all my friends, wow, vice world champion, you're so dope, you, you know, you're the best. And the kids from these areas, they came to me to say, sir, I said, yes, why are you just second? <laughs> I love them for that, you know, because they were right. <laughs> the game is not over. So 2009, they go back to the French DMC, and uh, get back came back from the TKO. You know, he came, he didn't came in 2008, but he came back in 2009. So everybody was like, even on the forums back in time, friends of mine came. Oh, you know what they say? Oh, they talking bad. You know, like they talk. Oh, they was insulting you on this forum. And I say, oh yeah, okay, cool. Let's see. You know, like let's see on stage who's talking. Then I put his own West Coast routine. I took his routine and transformed it into an East Coast routine, you know, like, and I battled him with that. And so I won 2009, the France Championship. Now you have to do something, you know, something serious. When I, when I was at Qbert's place in 2011, he invited me over. Yo, Nelson, you in San Francisco, come to my house. I say, okay, you know, like when Qbert says, come to my house, you, you run, you know. I was so happy, you know. When we scratched like for hours, for hours, at the end of the scratching session, he looked at me and he said, yo, Nelson, you scratch like a rapper. So I have to find a routine where I scratch like a rapper, you know? And that's how Break Your Neck, the idea came. So 2011, won the France Championship and go back to the world, you know, for the third time. So I prepared like a Break Your Neck routine with a Street Fighter routine. That was like the two main routines people really, really liked. And I won in the finals against uh, the Japanese guy, Noruito. 
and yeah, then became world champion, you know, like having Tony Prince screaming your name, DJ Nelson, yeah, like it, it was a very, very big moment in my life, a happy moment, you know, like it taught me to battle myself. That's not a battle against other people, but it's more a battle against myself. And it taught me to, yeah, to bring stuff to an end, to, you know, to finish, to, okay, no world champion. <laughs> Now I'm like a kid again, you know, like watching all these scratches, beat jugglers, turntablists, you know, on, on Instagram or like on socials like that. It's inspiring every day. I see that and it makes me hungry, you know, to say, hey, I don't want to not know the last scratch. No, I want to know the last scratch. I want to know these new scratches. I want to not stay stuck like in, in the era and say, oh, the 90s were better. But yeah. I, I, that's my era where I'm coming from, so... But I think this era now, it's very dope, you know? I have a lot of pleasure scratching every day with different people in... I'm, I'm touring in the world, you know? So I scratch with, with, with scratches in the whole wide world, you know? So, yeah, that's turntablism, I think. Building, you already know. I'm getting high up in here in France and shit. <laughs> um, my boy on the fucking wheels of steel right now. DMC world motherfucking champion. And it's not Mandela, motherfucker. We call this motherfucker DJ Nelson. Yeah, what you know about a bitch red man in a motherfucking building? Let's get it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 